Hi everybody, it's Matthew here from Bead Spider. How are we all doing today? Seeing as we've got Valentine's Day coming up uh, fairly soon, just a couple of weeks time, we thought we'd get a little bit more love themed. So this week I've got two different heart style tutorials. The first of which is going to be this gorgeous little heart pendant, which you can make it in three different sizes. Um, we do also have uh, a video coming on Friday where I'll be showing you how to make a really lovely right angle weave um, crystal heart as well, a little puffy heart. But anyway, as I said, today's tutorial, we're going to be working with wire. I've got some glass pearl beads, which you can use um, your more expensive satin glass pearl from Preciosa, for example, or you can just use your standard ones, whichever you like. But this particular tutorial, the great thing about it, you can do uh, multiple different sizes with your, uh, make your heart multiple different sizes with the same instructions. We do have the instructions for what I'm going to be doing today on the website. It's only three pounds, but for the first time ever, we've got a new product type, which uh, I guess I'll, I'll sort of show you that in just a second. You, you know what, let's have, a, let's have a little look at it now. So if you want to click on the little link that's in the description there, um, it will take you to the product page on our website, which uh, let's just pop on over to the website and take a little look, shall we? Uh, here we go. Here is the Bead Spider website. Here is the home page today. Let me show you this new product type. So as I said, um, if you click the link in the description, it will take you to the same page. So see at the bottom where it says view related products, the big dark purple square. If you click on that one, you'll see just here where it says on sale, the Pearl Love Heart Bundle. So this one that's popping up on the screen, little uh, looking a little bigger there. If you click on that, you can customize your own bundle. So for example, all items together, 22 pounds, but otherwise what you can do if you just have a little look, each one of these little uh, pieces just here, uh, you can choose to add more or remove them as you see fit. So if you have a little look, we've got just here, this is the uh, the bundle itself. So we've got a four mil glass pearl bundle because you can work with glass pearls. You get eight assorted strands. It works out 40% cheaper if you get it in this bundle. You also get a six mil glass pearl collection as well, which has six assorted strands, which I'll show you the whole bundle in a minute. You've got some silver, gold, metallic rose, and red silver lined seed beads in there as well. Plus you've got some 0.4 millimeter wire in silver and gold, and you also get our instructions completely free. So the great thing about this little bundle, which makes it a little bit different, is that you can very easily customize it to your desires. So if you wanna make big savings and get extra of these four mil glass pearl bundles, just add another one. You just click the little button, just this button here, click on that and add extras. So if you want to add two or three more, and that will automatically update the price to whatever it is that you have. So see that down there where it says 312? That's just adding those in. You go, actually, I don't want any of the gold color, for example. I don't want any of those. You just click that little minus button, click that one just there, and then that will go down to zero. And then you can see, that reduces the price of your bundle. Obviously, each of the items is on sale at varying different discounts, but they're definitely a fantastic way if you want to have a little look and customize it yourself. So, like I said, pick and choose. And then, of course, if you're getting that bundle, you do also get our instructions there completely free. So what do you think about that? That brand new product type that we have. Once you're ready, just click Add to Basket and that will be there on your uh, little basket ready for you to purchase. But anyway, that's that new little bundle, uh, bundle that we have there. So tell me what you think about that. Are you uh, interested in that sort of thing where you can customize the bundle? We go, here are some lovely things together, put them all together. And if you go, actually, I don't need silver wire or I want more silver wire, add it and remove it as you see fit. It's entirely up to you. You don't have to have any of the things, but yeah, let's have a little look. Um, so yeah, we've got a nice 
simple, easy little beginner's project. Like I said, you can do them quite large, which here's uh, one of the pendants which we've done in 6mm, which would make like a really nice, maybe a keychain if you wanted to put it on your keychain. Uh, you could even have it as like a quite a large pendant there if you wanted a big pendant. Um, otherwise, you can use them. You can make lots of different ones and hang them from a window as a little decoration. That's the really big one with six mils. There's also a version with four mil beads that you can do, but otherwise as well, um, <clears throat> uh, whatever it is that you, you take your fancy, you can do four mil or you can do our mini one. I'm going to be doing the mini heart, which is part of today's tutorial as always. Uh, let's just pop it so I can see the comments. Uh, some of them are just hiding. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Uh, Doris, she says, great, very interesting. As you say, pick and choose. Thank you. I'm glad you like that one, uh, Doris. And then we've got one here. Connie says, looks like this may be an easy one to make. You are right, Connie. We've gone for something really, really easy. We like to mix it up sometimes a little more complex, a little easier. Today's a nice easy one with wire work. Uh, and of course, uh, this one, this is a name I haven't seen before. Uh, Kitty is here. We've got Seema as well. We've got uh, Monica here, Jan is here, we've got Santos, lots and lots of people are joining us. Ah, oh, Colleen Rowe, uh, thanks for joining us Colleen. Colleen's been very busy beading, she's been sending us lots of pictures of things she's been making. So uh, thanks for joining us Colleen. Uh, who else have we got? We've got Anne Gold, Sue Morris, lots and lots of people. Um, but yes, so let's get on, I'll show you what you get in your bundle uh, nice and quickly. Let's just whoop, click on, put my little camera up on the screen and let's fade on over to my hands, shall we? Ta-da, by the magic of television, we're now looking at my hands, ready to show you the sorts of things you get. So like I said, in that bundle, if you want to get, this is an example of your four mil beads. Of course, you get all assorted colors, but this is a nice example of the sort of thing you'll get in your four mil bundle if you want to get that one. Uh, you've got the 6mm pearl bundle as well, which again uses those lovely 6mm pearls. Here we go. So see that? You get another collection. You can mix them and match them as you see fit. Uh, I should move this away from my touchpad so it's not moving things. Uh, but yes, you also get your rose-coloured seed beads. You've got the red seed beads as well, which if you have a little look, I can just oomph the brightness a touch so we can really see them. Uh, they're really shiny, vibrant, silver lined ones that we've got in there. So those are a lovely red love themed bead that you get. Plus you've got some silver lined clear, which is always popular. And then we've got the gold as well, which is a staple, I think, that if you want to make lovely jewellery, especially if you're using, um, you know, gold wire, which is included in the kit, and then there's the silver as well. Uh, you can even use the silver with this one, use the gold with this one, do whatever it is that you want. There's a lot that you can make and play with. So um, we've tried to make it really, really accessible for everyone. Um, for example, Isla here, she says, I think I'm in love with those pearls. Me too, Isla. I think they're absolutely gorgeous, and I'm going to have a bit of fun playing with them. So first things first, like I said, we're going to make our mini heart. So this one is the biggest of the version. I've done my large heart, and I've also done it... Uh, yeah, this is the large heart, and with 6 mil beads. So you can use this. This is made with the 6 mil pearls, but obviously you can do the exact same design in 4 mil or 3 mil, and it just gets that little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. I should have brought them on hand. I do have uh, each of them available to show you. But anyway, uh, this is what it looks like with 6 mil, and these ones are with satin pearls, of course. Um, but yeah, there's there's lots that we're going to do. So as I said, I'm going to, I think I might demonstrate with maybe the purple and which seed bead shall I use? Shall I use the, the pink maybe? The metallic pink? I really love this metallic pink colour. Let's just zoom in a touch. Maybe oomph that brightness a pop. There we go. So I'm going to use my, my purple I think with my metallic. Otherwise maybe, what do you reckon? Shall I go with silver? The purple and silver or the purple and the pink? Come on everyone, have a little vote. Uh, real quick and tell me which one you prefer if you're over on YouTube is it working on YouTube yes I think it is I had uh, I saw a comment from someone from uh, Puerto Rico we've got here we go 
Rocio, I don't know uh, how to quite pronounce that one, but she says hello from Puerto Rico. So thank you for joining us. Uh, I hope you're enjoying today's show. Uh, but yeah, what do you think? Pink or silver? In the meantime, I'm going to cut my little uh, purple and pink, pink, pink. Everybody says pink. All right, that one's nice, easy. Um, so uh, let's just cut my little strand, if I if I fancy. Um, yeah, so I'll just cut that little strand. And then what I'm going to do, or maybe I'll just undo it so I can put it back together. Nah, let's cut it. So what I'm going to do, of course, if you're using glass pearls, because they are painted, the little holes can get a little bit clogged, which usually it's not too much of a problem, but I'll show you a really fun little trick that you can use to sort of make sure that your holes don't get clogged or anything. So I'm going to use a little bit of my silver wire and this is a fun little trick that you can do. You just need a tiny little piece. Maybe this is about long enough. And we'll bring in our cutters. And I'll just give that a little snip. Of course, I am in right-handed view. I will go to left-handed view. Uh, sorry, I'm in left-handed view at the minute. I will go to right-handed view in a minute. Um, so, if we have a little look just here, I'm going to bend my piece of wire in half. So it's a nice little V-shape. I'll bring my two ends nice and close together if I can. And then I'm going to hold the two ends and I'm going to twist my two wires around each other. And we're going to make ourselves a little hole clearer. So because we need two wires to go through, there we go, that ought to do. There's a nice little sharp little firm end. I'll cut the two ends so that they're level with each other. And now let's just... Zoom in a teeny weeny touch. You can see here's my little uh, end cleaner, as it were. And then what you've got, you can see the holes. See how they're, wait a minute, I'll see if I can just hold that in position. There we go. So see your holes, they're fine. You can see through them, but they can sometimes be a little bit clogged, which this one, if it's going to focus, looks okay, but I'll show you anyway. You just use your little piece here. And you can just put it inside your hole, and that will make sure your hole is nice and clean. Do the same on the other side, and again, you've got a nice clean hole, and that will clean the little ends of your glass pearls. A really good little tip for doing that, and I recommend you probably don't have to, but if you want to, you can do that with all of your little beads. So a fun little tip there, nice simple little one, um, so that... Uh, so that you can clean your your glass pearl holes if you need to. So let's just uh, grab these little beads out. And of course, as I said, I'm going to use my pink. You guys have voted for the pink. So I will use those pink little beads just here. Uh, there we go. Uh, apparently, wait a minute, is there is everything working on YouTube? Um, let's see. People say they might be having issues. Let me just do a little bit of troubleshooting very, very quickly uh, to see if there's anything wrong at all on YouTube. All should be... Ah, yeah, no. Okay. Um, right. Is everything working okay? Hopefully, everything should be... Is it Okay. Is, all, is everything happening on YouTube now? Comment in. If you're on YouTube, let me know. Um, but yeah, so I don't think it went quite live properly. I uh, think it was a bit of an issue. So anyway, uh, yes, welcome to you YouTubers who are just going to be joining us now because I think it's only just hit that button to go live. So um, yeah, let's have a little look. And I will show you, of course, um, how that we can do this. So I've got some of my, my little pearls here and I've got my wire. And like I said, let's uh, let's start making this cute little heart. So where did I put my where did I put my big heart? I put it down somewhere, and now it's disappeared on me. Where are you? What have I done with it? It's disappeared. Ah, oh, here it is. So yeah, like I said, um, there we go. Uh, this is the the big version of the heart, which obviously, if you don't want it as big as this, no problem. Just don't use six mil beads. This is to make something really big. Uh, and, and sort of fun, like a decoration if you want to. I'm using the 4 mil beads, so you can see there's three, uh, 6 mil here, 4 mil here. Um, but yeah, so let's let's get going. 
What you need, of course, is your, your I'm going to use silver wire on this one. You can use gold if you prefer, because if any wire is showing, it almost makes like a little added visual feature. So if you want to get some silver wire out, you need to use about, um, about a meter of your wire. So let's just unspool ourselves about a meter, 75 centimeters or so um, will probably work. And I'll just give that a cut so that I've got myself about a meter, 75 centimeters or so, and I'll pop my spool aside. So one thing that I recommend, you don't have to, but I recommend doing it, which if we just zoom out, you might see a little bit better, is sort of aging the wire. So just run your fingers along it, make sure I don't knock my T over. I might pop this out of the way. I've got my Matthew mug today. So I'm going to age my wire real quick, just pulling it all the way through my fingers. See like that? And that will just help to get it a little bit straighter, a little bit sort of semi-used, so it will be a bit more pliable, a bit more usable, and it'll behave a bit better, I think. Um, hopefully YouTube should be working now. Um, I think there was a little bit of a hiccup, but all seems well now. So anyway, uh, like I said, don't forget, if you want to get these instructions... Um, you can get them very, very easily. Let's just tilt this camera down a fraction so that we can actually see me a little clearer. There we go. Uh, so yeah, if you want to get these uh, instructions, they are free if you want to get them part of the bundle. Otherwise, because uh, it's a double pattern, I'm going to do the mini heart, which is slightly different. Um, you will get that as part of your bundle for free if you want to get the bundle. Otherwise, uh, you can get it on its own so that you have... Uh, it's only three pounds, so very, very worthwhile. So I'm going to show you the three component parts that this kit is made up of. So let's take a little look. This is what we call component A, which essentially we have one bead at the bottom, two seed beads on the left, two seed beads on the right, and we cross over through one seed, uh, one pearl at the top. That's um, component A. Component B is a little bit different, which is one bead on the left, two beads on the right. Then we have component C, which is one bead on the left and three beads on the right. These are all we need. These three components are the only thing that we need to make this little piece just here. So component one, two, and three, that's all we're going to need. We'll be using a combination of those to make this little design. So starting off, first things first, what we're going to do is create ourselves a little chain of component A. So at the center of my wire, I'm going to add one of my pearls, and then I'm going to do right angle weave weaving from the left to the right through each pearl, putting on two seed beads each time. So let's just pop the instructions up into the top corner and I'll get demonstrating, shall I? So as I said, first thing that we're going to do, as per our little diagram, way over on the corner over there, I'm going to pick up one little glass pearl and I'm going to bring that to the middle of my wire. So essentially, I'll bring my two ends of my wire together and I'll slide this down so that it's nicely in the center of my design just there. So let's just get this thing out of the way. There we go. Uh, there we go. So I've got one little bead and I'll just bend it slightly so that it will stay in that position. Now what I'm going to do is put one, two seed beads on this side and two seed beads on this side. So each little end of my wire, I'll pick up two seed beads on here, so let's just one and two. If you can see that there, let's zoom in, shall we? It's handy how easy it is for me to zoom, isn't it? Uh, I hope it's nice and clear for you guys to see. Uh, that's why we do it. So two on each side, slide them down, let them just drop down and bring them down to the bottom where our little pearl is at the bottom. And then what we're going to do, which is why we will have cleared our holes out if you want to, we're going to take one wire through it this way and the other wire through it this way. So essentially what we're making is our first little 
component A. So this is what we're making just now. You can see one, one side of the wire, which is in red, goes up and around through that bead in one direction, and then the other bead goes in the other direction. So let's just find our little hole. There it is. So we'll go through that in the one direction, and then back in the other direction, the opposite way, with the same little bit of wire. And now all I've got to do is just pull my th wires all the way through so that my bead comes ever so nicely to the center of my wire. So little by little on each side, pull the left, then pull the right, pull the left, pull the right, just to make the process nice and easy for you. And then once you get down to the bottom, just make sure you've got it nice and firm. So see how this is a little bit loose? You can just pull against that, which if you need to, you can always use your pliers to help you pull and then pull both sides nice and firm like that so that we have our first little A unit just there. So I'll just, wait a minute, let's move these seed beads out the way a bit, move these beads out the way. And then of course, if you wanna hide the wire a little, you just squeeze these little two seed beads into your work and into your work so that they're nice and flat like that. So see that? And now we've got our first little unit A. So I'll just pop back over now and show you so we're going to do it so that we have four of our little pearls so now that i've got my first little unit a there um here we go my wires all wiggly wobbly this is why you need to age it i probably didn't age it enough but anyway so two little beads on this wire and you know what i'll go through my little pearl as well i'm probably out of shot with my head here trying to look at the beads so through the little bead here, so see that through there, I'll slide it all the way down. This is another way that you can do it if you want to. Whoops. My wire's being particularly unwieldy. So there we go, pop that there. And now I'll pick up two more little seed beads. I'll just hold it with my finger while I do it. Pick up seed bead number one and seed bead number two. And then exactly the same as before, we're going to go through this bead here in the opposite direction. So we're already coming through it this way. A nice little tip to making it a little bit easier is to just pop that through there. And if it doesn't want to go through, you can always just get the middle of it in and then sort of pull both wires in one direction or the other to try and get it to sort of slide through. So make sure you keep your wires nice and untangled from one another. Whoops, I'm doing a horrible job of it all of a sudden. There we go. It's being particularly unwieldy. Pull, 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 all the way. The other one's not quite firm yet, so we just pull that side too. And there you go, there's our next little component. So let's keep going, do a couple more of these little components. We've got three of our beads now, so I'll just, do you know what, I'm gonna just sort my wire out. It's giving me all sorts of grief because I didn't quite do it straight. Here we go. Um, there we go. So now, again, I will pick up, put a few of them just here so you can see them, and I'll get my little pearl. Ah, Donna has just asked, what size wire is that? I've only just joined on. So Donna, this is a 0 0.4 millimeter wire, which I have a feeling is gauge 26? It's either 24 or 26 or something like that. I can never remember the American gauge sizes. Um, and we've got Rocio. She says, I've never seen snow. They're talking about on YouTube. They're talking about the, the snow uh, down in the south of England. And I think it was, Connie, 10, 10 inches of snow as well, Connie said. Uh, but yeah, lots and lots of people talking about talking about the snow uh, because it's it was snowy here for a little bit, but um, yeah, Rocio says she's never seen the snow. Do you know what? I had never seen snow either. Coming from Australia, seeing snow is not a particularly common occurrence. I don't think it's ever snowed in Sydney in all of its history, all of its written history at least. Um, 
so I'd never seen snow until I came over here to the UK. So I remember one time when it snowed for the very first time that I uh, since I'd lived here that it was absolutely like mind-boggling to me. It was a form of precipitation I'd never seen. I was like, wow, running down the street like a little child going, oh, yay, at, at the snow, even though I was, you know, in my mid-twenties or whatever. Uh, I was very excited about it. Um, but yeah, so I've come more accustomed to it now, but I, I still love it very, very much. Uh, here we go. So this just here is our first little component. This is the first part of our little heart that we're going to be making. So let's take a look at the instructions again. Um, ooh, no, I need to click on here. Here we go. So next instruction. Come on now. Oh, yeah, there we go. So here's my next little instruction. I'm going to start adding in my unit B. Remember how I showed you unit B just a minute ago where... Um, the right side has two seed beads and the one side has just one seed bead. This is going to give us that curvature just around the corner uh, to sort of allow us to hopefully get that nice curve coming for our heart. Um, let's just fade back here. Janine here, she's watching in Australia right now, which it must be very, very late in the morning for you. The middle of the night for Janine. She said no snow in Queensland either, just high temperatures. Um, there was, uh, I remember we were talking, I was speaking with one of my cousins. I sent him a picture of the snow. Uh, so I'm going to just make that little, little diagram piece with my unit A's. Uh, yeah, I was talking with my cousin who's in Australia. I sent him a picture of the snow. So one seed bead on this side, two on this side. I sent him a picture of the snow out my window and he was like, whoa, crazy, because they just spent the last four hours in the swimming pool, um, you know, because the, it was 39 degrees in Sydney. So he was, he was mind boggled about how different it was that we were having icy cold snow and he was having a lovely hot four hours in the swimming pool to to get accustomed to to cool down from all the heat in in Sydney um, so I'm now going to continue creating that little unit a so I'll just take my wire through this bead in the opposite direction so don't forget if you have a little look up at the the diagram up in the corner there we've got to make one and then two sets so I'm just making the first one now and I'll pull that nicely through my wire, get them fairly even, and then I can just pull both sides one at a time till it's nice and firm. And that will give us, there we go, that first little curvature. So see how before it was kind of up straight? We're now kind of off in this direction. We need to do that one more time. So I will just pick up one more of my my little hearts. I think I hope I hope I'm doing the mini heart. I just realized I might be doing the bigger one all of a sudden. I should check that, make sure I'm doing the mini heart. Uh where's the diagram? Yes, good. For a second I was I was worried I was doing the big heart. That would have been funny. Um no, this is the mini heart. So we'll do this one here and now I'll repeat the process one more time picking up one bead. So like I said, they're really easy to make these little fellas. The most difficult part is getting the wire under control. <laughs> uh, so there we go. One more little seed bead on this side, on the left here, which is the inside of our little heart corner. Two seed beads on the outer side. So one and two there. And now again, we'll just cross over through one of these little pearls. So pick up a pearl here. Take it all the way down, bend my wire over to the opposite side. See that? And now I'll bring my other wire up that has just the one. And take it back in the opposite direction. So pull, pull, pull all the way. And then see how it's not quite firm on this side? It means I've just got to pull that bead and pull just this one side of my wire. And there you go, it's nice and firm now. Like I said, if you wanna just push your little beads sort of ever so slightly more into the wire, it will help you get that shape a little bit better. So see how you can see a tiny bit of wire here? I probably should have pulled it. I can still pull the wire a little firmer with this one because the wire goes 
back and around and then there you go you can see it's a little bit firmer now on that one just here so now let's continue on let's take a look at our next diagram no don't want to do that yet um, here we go so our next diagram now we've got just up here we're going to make one of our unit C beads uh, so we've got one bead on the bottom and three beads on the top and you know what let's flick it into right-handed view now shall we so this might confuse a few people all of a sudden but hopefully not there we go we've got our little right-handed view and just in case you didn't see it let's pop our little ticker along the bottom so that you guys can see about our little bundle that we have this week which is for this um, particular kit it's really really good savings uh, I think it works out at around about um, about 25% off if you get everything that is so on this inner side the inside of our curve we need one seed bead pull that down and then we just need to uh, do the same again with three beads on the outside so one two and three little seed beads on the outside bring them all the way down to the bottom whoops just lost them a little bit there it's definitely easier to hold the wire in your hands like this rather than trying to do it like I've been doing on the mat because you've got lots more control if you're holding it in your hands so maybe I'll do that from now on I'll go one more of my little pearls just here so I'll take oops one bead through one side with one and I'll slide it down to my little piece just here and then I've got the other side and I'm gonna go through that bead in the opposite direction so if I just rotate it round so you can see exactly what I'm doing my wire is coming this way so I will go down the other um, the other way as well um, which is just here pull that nice and firm wow uh, something's just happened that I don't think I've ever seen before um, which is a little bit exciting um, I didn't even know we could have this but it seems which a big thank you to you Connie uh, she's see how her things here. She's just donated five pounds to us a uh, five dollars five dollars uh, Thank you Connie very much. I've, I actually didn't even know that someone could do that So over on YouTube Connie's just donated five pounds uh, five dollars to us. So th thanks very much I feel really thankful about that. Thanks. I hope you're enjoying the tutorial. That's that's really nice of you Connie um, but yeah, that's uh, Something I, I didn't even know you could do. Uh, thanks Connie. Uh, Thanks very much. You you didn't need to do that, but you know, thank thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, so let's uh, continue on now. So the next little step that I've got to do now, I've just put my instruction back up into the corner. So here we go. Let's just pop that back over. What we need to do now is one more of these little um, these. Uh, B B style, um, B style uh, units that we're making. So I'll pick up one bead on one side and two on the outer side. So let's just fade back there, and let's go one little bead just here on the inside, and I'll pop a seed uh, pearl on while I'm here slide that down in position and now with my other wire I'll pick up two little beads so I'm gonna make two of these components I'm gonna make the whole heart from beginning to end today just because you know it's a bit of fun isn't it I'm enjoying making them they don't take too long so now I'll just go through this wire just here so if I just rotate it round, you can see I'm coming through this one just here and pop that through there and pull that nice and tight and so oops try and keep it in the shot there I just realized I'm uh, filming a little bit further away from myself than I would like to to find the middle oh well it'll do uh, so pull that firm pull that firm uh, there we go so see how we can't quite have them tight enough yet 
that's easy to fix. We can always, if this one is a little bit loose, it's nice and easy to fix the previous one. Just loosen your wire a tiny, tiny bit and give that a nice pull and then pull it back in again. So I'll do that and then I'll just loosen this other side as well. Give that a little pull like so. Get that nice and firm and then pull it tight there as well. So now we've got two little wires just here. So there we go. There's oh, not quite as firm as I would have liked. Pull that one a bit firmer. This one needs to be a little bit tighter. Let's just get that one. There we go. So make sure they're nice and firm before you continue on. So I'll just do my next little unit of B. So there's one little seed bead on the inside of my heart. Ah, oh, one's seed beads are on the inside of my heart. Isn't that right? True, true story. Uh, a true lover of the beadwork. That's me. Um, so there we go. That's one on the inside, two on the outside. I'll pick up my pearl while I'm here and then I'll cross over them one more time again. So pull that. Oops. Just flung out a screen again. There we go. So pull that. I'll just bend it over so that it's in position. Take my other wire and go through that once more. So pull that all the way through. And now just pull this side, pull the other, get them firm. And you can see our little heart shape is really starting to, to sort of take shape, I guess. Our little heart is starting to take shape really nicely there. So there's that little bit just there. Now what I'm going to do, this is where we get to the point where we start making the center of our little heart. So just pop that over here. What we're going to do here now, we're going to pick up on one side a seed bead, a pearl, and a seed bead. And on the other wire, the one that's on the outside of our curvature, we're going to do a, um, a just one seed bead. Uh, so let's just get on with that. We've also got one here, which I don't know what your name, but Yogi Caspi. She says, this looks lovely, Matthew. I'm glad you're, uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's a, I'm having a bit of fun making it. Uh, I, I always enjoy doing my little projects here for all of you. So because I've got the inside of my heart here, I'm going to pick up one seed bead, one pearl. Where are you? I tell you, I'm... Clearly my eyesight is, uh, actually, this is a lie. I was just, I had an eye test just the other day and they said my eyesight's still perfect. I was going to claim poor eyesight at the struggles of finding the holes, but I can't even claim that. The, 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 the eye doctor says no. That's not the truth. Don't tell lies to the, to the, uh, to the viewers, Matthew. Um, so, now just one seed bead onto the top. So exactly like our little diagram. Oh, no, it's in the other view now. So a little diagram up the top here, we've added one seed bead, one pearl, and one seed bead on the bottom. And on the top, we've added just one seed bead, and now we'll cross through one pearl. And that's going to give us um, a, little, a little crossover point. Um, is everything still working over on Facebook? I haven't seen any Facebook comments for a little while. Who's here on Facebook? Come on. Someone on Facebook, comment in so I know that, they're, that it's all still working properly, because I haven't seen anything from any of you guys. For a little while, who's who's still here from Facebook? Someone comment in. Uh, I have I've missed them all. Um, so uh, let's just continue through now. So I'm going to just do my little right angle weave through that one. Um, here we go. Ah, oh, great. Yes, no. We've still got people here on Facebook. Good, good. Uh, it was just me not paying enough attention to you, to you lovely ladies over on Facebook. Colleen's there. Sharon, yep, everybody still says it's here. Good, good, good. Um, clearly, you were just watching very intently on how it's made. Um, now, let's... So I've got these little beads just here. As I said, I just need to cross over that last little pearl. So I'll bend it slightly so I can get to it a, a bit easier. And I'll just thread through there, like so. And pull that nice and firm. Keep my wire... Nice and rounded. Pull, 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 pull. Pull this other one as well, so that both of them are firm. And then you can see it brings it together 
And then there is the bottom of your, right from the bottom of my heart. There you go. Uh, we've just had Martine. She's joined us. She says, hi, here in France. Thanks for joining us from France, Martine. Uh, I know we've got quite a few from the US. Um, oh, we've got lots of comments coming in from Facebook now. Everybody's, I've snapped them out of their beating stupor where they're all so involved watching. Um, there was, I, I saw a comment. Yes, here we go. Anne Gold, she said, I'm still here, but concentrating hard. It seems all of you must have been. So I'm glad you're all still here. Haven't fallen asleep yet. So now I'm going to continue. You can see I've got that point of my heart looking really nice. And now let's just uh, click back over here pop my instructions back up on the screen, and we're going to reverse, more or less, exactly the way that we did our first. So we're going to work backwards from the direction that we had been working just before. So essentially, we're going to start with um, two of, because we've, we've just finished our little point in the section, uh, in the center. So then I'm going to do a unit B followed by another unit B, then a unit C, a unit B, a unit B, and then we're going to just finish off towards the bottom. So I'm going to do that now. I'll just pop that little fellow up in the corner and let's get started. So because we want our heart to curve this way, that means we need to do our little piece on the inside just there. So one, straighten my wire a touch, one little seed bead on the bottom and the pearl to cross over. What do we think of my colorway, by the way? I'm really liking the uh, the purple and pink combination. I think it looks great. Um, what do you guys think? So that's going to be the underside. Now I'll grab my other wire, pick up one seed bead, two seed beads here. There we go. You can see I'm getting all messy on the bead mat. Let's, let's neaten up my little bead pile, shall we? I'm always working so messy when I'm trying to do these tutorials. Let's clean up a bit, shall we? Bit of housekeeping. So there we go. Now we'll just cross over this little pearl again. So I'll straighten this wire. If this wire starts getting a little bit like ratty, or if you bend it and it gets all like a bit manged at the, at the end there, you can straighten it if you want to. But otherwise, you just take your cutters and give it a little snip to clean that little end of wire off so that it's nice and straight so that you can get through your... Um, your beads really easily. So let's see if I can get through with this. Uh, I don't know if I will, because if I can't, I'll just cut it off. So let's go through this pearl in the opposite direction. I know I've monged my uh, my little wire there. No, it's gone through okay still, so I'm still all right. Let's make sure my wire doesn't get twisted. Keep it untwisted. Try and keep your wire really neat. Pull them at even amounts so that they're kind of both getting towards the end at the same time. And now lastly, let's just pull this one up and pull that one nice and firm and then pull this one nice and firm too. So let's just give this a nice little yank. There we go. Uh, Sherry says, how much wire did you start with? Uh, Sherry, I used about 75 centimeters to a meter, um, a yard in... Uh, old money, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, the uh, as long as you've got sort of that amount, you'll be fine. Um, so now I've got to do another one of these same style components. So I'll do one seed bead on my inner side, two seed beads on my outer wire. So if I just turn it around here, you can see this is going to be the outside. Ooh, I can hide that again now. Um, so yeah, uh, we've got the outside wire here because we need to do that. So that needs more seed beads. We need the fewer seed beads on the inside to give us that curvature. So I'll just slide my little seed beads down. So there's two seed beads here, one seed bead on the inside there. And now again, we'll just cross over through that pearl. What are you guys thinking of the, uh, the the smaller version, by the way? I'll show you the two different sizes uh, in just a second. I'll just cross over through this pearl, if, I, if it'll behave, which are you going to behave for me? Good. This is almost a useful little time to check on that. 
Uh, oh, I did get it through, but do you know what? Let's take it off, and I'm going to show you one more time with my little hole cleaner. So I'll just pop my piece aside. Because we needed to clean this little hole a little bit just to make sure we can get through, we can just use that little piece I made at the beginning of the video, my little hole cleaner, and then just clean it that way, turn it over, clean it the other way. And the good thing is, because you've got these twists, hopefully it will come, because I've got the twists in the wire, it helps to clean that hole, like rifle through it, barrel, uh, clean the barrel out of that hole. Um, so now you'll probably find I can thread through it super easily. So that little tool, it's a fun little thing to make there just to clean out your uh, your little, little glass pearls. Um, don't forget, everybody, if you missed it, um, we do have our bundle available. Um, let's just, it's a brand new product type that we've only just sort of released today. It's a, a new style of product where you can customize your bundles. So uh, I'll just, I'll show you again at the end the full, the full spiel about the bundle. But if you haven't seen it, go to our little website. The link is there in the description for you to take a look at it and see what, uh, what it looks like. But you can add and remove products from your bundle exactly as you want. And then you also get your little, um, uh, your little instruction set, the double instruction for the mini heart, which is what I'm making. And then here's a big heart. See, look, big heart and the mini heart. See, look, itty bitty in comparison. Fits fits inside even. Uh, let's compare them. There you go. Look, <laughs> it's only going to be half the size because it's the six mil beads, but also this is the larger version of the... Um, of the thing there. But yeah, click the link in the description if you want to and check out that little bundle product that we have. So I've done my two, uh, if we look at our instructions, my two little um, B units. Now it's time for a C unit. So my inner one needs to have just one seed bead. This gives us a really nice curve, curve to get around that bend, a sharp turn as it were. Because the more beads, the the sort of the, the bigger the difference in beads, the sharper the turn you'll get. So um, the the inner hole, uh, sorry, the inner side, if you've got one bead and you do like three on the outer, you get a much, much sharper turn. If you do a four on the outside, even you get an even sharper turn. Um, or if you do, just like I've done before, see how you get a slightly softer turn. But then over here, you've done this one and it's got, see, look, soft turn, soft turn, sharp turn, soft turn, soft turn, to really give you that heart shape, a really nice heart shape. So let's now take our next pearl, and I'll just thread through this little fella here. And, oops, made a big fat mess again. And then through that one in the opposite direction, like that, and get my wires pull them through nice and slow, pull, 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 get my th beads out of the way, pull it all the way down on one side, keep it nice and soft and gentle while you're doing this to keep it even, and then just pull it, pull it, pull it, and then see how we're a little bit loose on this side just here? Just hold this side where we're kind of be pulling out and give it a nice little yank. And then there you go. Look at that. Pulls it nice and firm, nice and tight. You can do the same on the other if you want as well. But hey, not, not a necessity. Um, here we go. We've got a comment here from Judith. She says, I really like the mini. And then I got a long comment here from Bonnie. What does that one say? Um, she said, hi, I'm late. Also, these are great. I'm planning a home wedding for my son, Matthew. Not me, her son, Matthew. Uh, these will be great to put on the napkins. Yes. Do you know what? Actually, this is a fantastic idea. Instead of putting it uh, on the napkin, this is quite big. Use this as your napkin holder. How good of an idea is that? Thank you for uh, that sort of suggestion. You could even... Have I got a piece of paper to try it with even? See, look, here's a piece of paper. Let's just roll it up to make it look like it's uh, a... Uh, I'm getting carried away here. I'm excited about this idea. Roll it up so you could pretend that you've... Wait, let's put my face up on the screen. Here we go. No, it doesn't want to click, click yet. There we go. So we've pretend that this is our little napkin. Our big heart can just hold our napkin. Oh, I probably should have done it a bit tighter. 
There you go, the uh, the joys of live live streaming. Get it nice and small so it will fit inside. And then pop that inside there. One little napkin holder. And then you can just pop the little love hearts on their side. And, well, I mean, maybe a sticker on the table behind me so that you can see. No, the comment's in the way, of course. Of course the comment's on the way. Uh, let's hide that. And then here we go. There's your little love heart napkin. There it is. How's that look? What do you think about that? Ta-da! Great job. Um, great idea there from Bonnie. I, I really like that one. Um, there you go. Bit of A bit of fun inspiration in the middle. Um, so let's continue now. I've done my unit, um, my unit C here, and now I need to do two more unit Bs. Um, so that means two on the outside, one on the inside. So one, two, and then I'll just get my bead ready on already because I'm lazy. Instead of doing them in separate steps, I always do them like this and get myself in a big fat mess. But, you know, it's half the fun, isn't it? The, the the making fun is the the making part is 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 the fun part and then showing it off is the is the pride part I suppose. Um, what did you guys? Ah oh, yeah, Monica. She says great idea. Um, Donna, the screen froze. Oh no, horrible timing. I hope I hope you got to see the uh, the epiphany of the napkin holder. Uh, so look, here we go. This is something worth w looking out for. See how my wire is starting to twist? Do not pull it anymore. If you get a kink, it's really, really difficult to work with. So just untwist your wire, like so. Just don't let it get twisted so that it stays nice and round. We want to make sure we're keeping our wire super rounded so that we're not having any problems pulling our beads down later on. So just get that side nice and firm, get this side nice and firm, and there we go. That's coming together nicely. Like we can just see. Look, this one's even could be a little bit tighter to get our shape a bit better. So let's just pull that a little more. And there you go. You can even help the wire into the right sort of position by shaping it as well, um, if you fancy doing that. Uh, so one more of those B units. So the inside wire, which is this one here, the inside wire we need one bead on, and the outside wire we need two. So I'll just pick up one bead on the inside wire, uh, if I can manage it, there we go. And I'll slide it all the way down. So you can see I've got one bead on the inside, two beads on the outside. Straighten my wire a little if I need to. One and two. Like so and slide them down to make sure it's always important you make sure that you've got them on the right wire so one on the inside two on the outside um, and now I'll get my pearl and I'll just cross through my threads so pick that one up there go through that in one direction not the band um, and then take this one in the other direction just here Pop that through there. Oops, make sure you don't accidentally go through your seed bead as well. Just feed that little seed bead off. Let's zoom in and touch, shall we? For this. And now I'll just pull this all the way through. Again, you can always keep your hand... Wait, I just zoomed in too. Keep your hand sort of on the wire. That'll help it from getting twisted. And if you've got your finger inside, it gives you something to sort of pull against and it makes sure your wire stays nice and soft. So I've got one side done. And now I'll just pull the other, get them roughly into position. And then if I need to, which I don't this time, I can just, there we go, pull that. And you can see it's now ready to go straight and down to my point. So I've added the first and I thought I had more instructions than this, the little steps. Uh, where are you now, my little friend? I know I've got more that I didn't put on here, which was silly of me. Maybe I didn't. So anyway, um, so yeah, now we're going to come down and join this up here. So if we have a little look at our diagram here, we've got the pearl in the middle, which if we look up at our diagram up here, we've got our pearl in the middle. Then we've got one, two, three. This is a good way to keep track of where you're at. One, two, three, 
four, five, six little pearls. My diagram has the point, one, two, three, four, five, six pearls in total. So the point, where was I at? Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I just need to add two more little pearls um, there as well. So let's just pick up, we've got two beads on the inside here. So we're making unit A's again. So I just need to do two little unit A's to match our sides and then I'll join it to the bottom as well. So I've got one, two on the left, two on the right. Because we've got the same amount on both sides, it means we'll get a straight line happening. So that's not uh, a problem anymore. We won't be creating any more curvature. Let's just put them all the way down to the bottom cross over through one pearl like so come on now oops dropped my pearl so one down there and take my wire through the other direction uh so make sure we go both directions, one in one way, one in the other. Don't let your wire get curved or cut or crossed or anything like that. Try and keep it nice and straight and then just pull, 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 pull all the way until it's nice and firm. There we go. So we've got one little unit A that we've created now. Just a couple more to do. Uh, just, just one more last one um, that I've got to do. So I'll go one two on one side doesn't matter which one two on the other side like that and i'll just bring it back into position so that you can see what i'm doing here so it's in heart shape so two and two like that there zoom in a tiny touch and then i'll pick up one of my pearls get my wire a little bit straighter Pick up a pearl, try and keep my beads where they are with my other hand. And let's just thread one needle through it in this direction. Slide it on a bit. Through the other. Oops, just get that off. Don't need any of this little bits, little bit of paint gunk. Just pull that off if you need to. And then just pull that through there. There we go, now we're all the way through both sides. And I'll just pull this one here, pull this one here. You can see my wires are a little bit tangled. There we go. Now we just got it nice and controlled. Always try and do it slowly so that you can keep everything under control. So this side, I just need to give this a little bit more of a pull. Give this a pull, make sure it's nice and straight like that there. There we go. And now we've done, we'll just check I've got all the right amount of beads, and then I just need to join my two pieces together. So we, if we have a little look, I've got one, I've got my point, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little beads. And then looking at my diagram just here, you can see on the side we've got the point, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little beads. Just to be certain, always important to make sure that you do have... Um, uh, you do have your beads in total there together, uh, the same. It's always important. Um, make sure they're, they're in the right amount. And now what we're going to do finally with that, oh, I should have left it on the instructions page. There we go. So the last step now, we're going to pick up two beads from the bottom, one bead on the center, and then as we pull them nice and tight together, that will fit really, really nicely together into one single little piece just there. So we are only doing the one bead inside the top at the middle, just to make it a little bit rounder, sort of come together, help it come together. They won't get sort of in the way of each other, if you know what I mean. So it's essentially going to be just one bead joining the two pieces together like this. So, um, the, in the center there, between them, sort of hiding there. So let's just pick up one bead. And then we're going to go through this pearl here.
Oops. Come on now. So we're going through this wire. There we go. So this is where we finally get the second wire through this one. Is it going to behave for me? Imagine if I can't get my wire through here enough times. That'll be a, a struggle. Um, so my inside wire just here, I might have to trim my wires a little bit. So there we go. Just pull that one through there. And then if you need to, because this is where it's sort of stiffest, I should have straightened my wire beforehand. Let's pull it out, shall we? I'll cut this little bit off because it's a little bit ratty. Let's pull that through there. And we'll go through that one just here at the bottom. There we go. Went much easier that time. Pull that approximately into position. Oh, am I out of shot there? Yeah, sorry about that. Pull that through. And now lastly, I'll grab my two beads in the bottom. Because this will sort of bring it down into into position as we as we need it to. Have I got Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to bring up a pearl as well. I knew I, was, I wasn't I was quite paying enough attention. I'm, am I in the right spot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. I was worried for a second there. I'd uh, confused myself for a second at what I was meant to be doing. So it's going to sit nicely like this just here. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good. And have I got that right? Did I do it right at the beginning? I'm feeling like I've made a mistake somewhere, but maybe I haven't. Oh, it's because I've <laughs> I had it flipped over. I was I knew I was looking a bit confused. I was like, what? What's happened here? So this wire just here, pick up two little beads. Or if you want, you can take the other wire back the other way, whichever's easier for you. If you have a bit of trouble getting this wire through this one as well, you can use your other wire just to come back on itself, which still works. But we'll give it a go, see if I can get my, my wire through here. And it should, if I've got it fairly straight. I know I've already pulled it tight. Hopefully it will just push through here. You might have a bit of trouble getting it through. You might not. Oops, I just got it a bit tight there. My, uh, let's just loosen this a little so I can actually see my wire coming through. Oops, no, let's just... Got all bent. Look at that. Wasn't I silly? Let's just cut that little bit off. And I'll give myself a little bit of extra space. Just loosening that a tiny bit. And now it should go through much easier. So just through there. There we go. Nice and easy. See? Giving yourself a little bit of space makes life so much easier. And if you need to, which you might, which I probably don't, but just to make my life a bit easier, I might even... Use no, I won't need to in the end. I was going to use pliers to pull my thread, but you don't need to. But you can if you if you feel like you want to. So we'll just pull that so it's fairly firm. Pull this one as well. Pull them both till it's almost all the way through, nice and tight. Get that little fella happening. Come on now, get that wire in there. There we go, and then there we go. Now we have it in position. Pull your wire. Nice and tightly, and there you go. You have, you can just sort of tighten your wire if you need to. One finished little heart. There we go. Oops, just tighten it, straighten it out. Just straighten your little heart into position, sort of wiggle it round to get its position nice, nicely happening. And you can sort of move it a little, maneuver it a bit so that this one bead sits nicely at the bottom. See, there we go. And then you have your lovely finished little beaded heart just there. So there's your little mini heart. And essentially all you've got to do, you can sort of wrap your, your wires around so that they are finished. Let's get this little bit of wire out of the way. And now, yeah, we can weave some of the wires through our seed beads if we want to. Otherwise, what you can do is sort of wrap them around this little inner wire, as it were. Um so that it can easily be be uh, sort of finished off and tightened. We don't need to worry too much about it, which if you go through this little gap underneath these two little beads here, this is the sort of area that you can wrap to get rid of this little thread here. So if we just pull, 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 that's nice and tight now. And I'll go round it again couple of times. I mean, if you really want to, you can go through some of the beads, but it's not a necessity. Pull, 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 pull. Make sure it doesn't get caught. 
pull and then that's going to just sort of wrap around once it's much easier to shape once you've got it all nicely rounded at the bottom and everything so we'll just remove that little wire we don't need him anymore there we go and now lastly i'll just position my wire and i'll wrap around a few more times with this one here so i'll wrap around this wire at the base make sure i stay in the center of shot there and then just yank that nice and tight there we go one and i'll wrap around it once more you can do this a few times if you want to there we go and then we just cut that little bit of wire off make sure we don't cut any of the wrong wires but then there you go you position that sort of squeeze that little blast bead down to give it that nice sort of heart shape that you want and there is your finished little heart um i don't seem to have a little jump ring on me which is a shame i could have showed you because then all you've got to do where you've got all of these little wire loops and bits and pieces there in the corner as well if you wanted to um sort of put them into position you can just choose wherever it is that you want you get a little jump ring and sort of attach it there so that it can give you something to hang off of so essentially it would allow you to like you know um sort of have a uh, a little hanging you can you can hang it from the the sort of the center point if you want to you can hang it from the edge hang it wherever you want to really um and then it's uh it's going to sit very very nicely sort of like that you can hang it from a little neck chain if you want to as well there's lots and lots of different options on how you can use it once you've got it finished but you can see it's much much smaller than that other little piece that you've got so this is the one that was made earlier see so look at the difference in size between the two let's just get my instruction out of the way and there you go you've got your little finished piece just here i've got a jump ring hopefully somewhere uh jermaine's just finding me a little jump ring so uh we will hopefully be in luck maybe in the other room there might be some i'm not so sure but anyway she's given me a little neck chain as well which i can show you they're going to be coming on the website quite soon but in the interim just while you're still here let me show you um oh this is a, a funny little one here from linda she says she says i heart it uh -huh. good one there linda i like that one uh but yeah so like i said yeah all you got to do you just get yourself a nice little jump ring hang it from that little point and then if you've got even just like a plain little neck chain something like this you can very easily hang it from a necklace just like this just here uh open it up and then sort of hang it from your jump ring which i've got one here yes jermaine has come through and i've got a jump ring uh oh yeah uh so i've got my little oh let's get rid of a little comment here we go great uh so yes um here's that little heart let's just open that jump ring I like it when they sort of hang a bit offset so rather than doing it so that it's like this maybe i'll hang it from from this one shall i rather than straight from the center just so that when it dangles it'll dangle a little bit nicer so there we go there's my little jump ring and in fact i probably should have done this a little bit later maybe let's see if this will go through without having to reopen the jump ring no i can just thread it straight through so there you go you can just pop that straight onto your finished little necklace here and then close up the little clasp let's see julie says you could put the smaller one wait let's just put it on the screen shall we you could put the smaller one inside the larger one and hang them as a window decoration that's a really nice idea there actually um, i like that one let's i might have a go at doing that you know so here is the the little wait let's just pop it onto my face real quick hide this here's my face so then there you go you've got your little heart pendant and then wear it do you know what let's do it let's wear it this will be good fun pop this on and you can make a cute little something for valentine's day so no problem and then there you go there's your 
cute little heart pendant. What do you think about that? Isn't that quite, quaint, quite nice? But as matches my beard. No. Um, here we go. As... Who was it? Someone had the idea. Here we go. Julie, let me let me have a go with your idea there, Jewelry. Julie, Julie, Ju Julie's jewelry. Um, so I've got my little jump ring here. Let's hang it from the underside, shall we? Um, of maybe on the same side. Yeah, let's try that out. Let's. Oh wait, no. Let's go back to my hands, shall we? Come on now. So I'm gonna give. I'm gonna have a go at that, Julie. That's a, another nice idea. We had one idea from I can't remember who it was. The 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 little napkin holder. But now we're gonna have a go with Julie's idea of popping it onto this little corner just here. Maybe two jump rings might have been a better idea, but I'll give it a go. See what happens. Whoops. Just try and thread that on there. Might need a slightly bigger jump ring. Oops, dropped it. There we go, through there. Tie that on, shall we? Close it off. Come on now. Behave. There we go. Probably should have used a bigger jump ring. And then there you go, you can hang that just like this. And then again, we can pop a little jump ring at the top and that'll make another little nice little pendant. That's a great idea there from uh, Julie, this one was, this little idea. So there you go. How's that? You can hang it there from, from this little bit here, or maybe from here. There you go. And now you've got a heart within a heart. Isn't that cute? So you could sit that on your window and make two little contrasting ones. So I quite like it with the, the satin color there, but that's a fun little idea. So great idea there by Julie, who said, let's stick them one inside the other. Uh, yeah, Jean also says, you could make it into a mobile, which is quite a nice little idea as well. Um, lots of fun little ideas. But anyway, let me show you the product bundle because that is the best way, the cheapest way. I know I'm just using some standard things you might have around the house, but hey, if you want to get some good, good savings, let's take a look at my little product bundle. So here we go. I'll just return back to the homepage because I know a lot of you come to it from the homepage, but hey, if you want to click the link in the description that will take you to where you can get this product bundle, where you can view all today's products, it will take you to our website, to this page right here. So this is our homepage for today. Obviously, if you want to watch this tutorial back again, you can just click on this massive icon where it's got the two hearts just there and our love heart pendant tutorial there. Um, in a few days time, it will be coming up in the previous shows segment. And this one that says upcoming shows is going to become our Friday tutorial. So if you're wondering what's coming on Friday, it's going to be this gorgeous little um, tutorial just here, which I'll show you real quick, really, really quickly. You can set a reminder here already. See, look, here's the YouTube video. If you click on this, uh, I think it does let you just set a reminder somewhere. Usually, Oh no, you might have to click on our how to make a pendant just here. You click on this and that'll take you off to YouTube where you can, whoops, all the struggles in the world. You can set a reminder, I think, should be, should be just here somewhere. Oh, I think it's because I'm not logged in, of course. Because I'm not logged in, it's not going to show me. Um, but yeah, so usually it would say set a reminder just here in the bottom corner. So that's why it doesn't say it. Anyway, um, this Friday's tutorial the pendants is what we've got. We've got five different colors of these little hearts, which one of them is hiding. I don't know where it's gone. I need to put that one back in stack. Our silver one is hiding all of a sudden. So uh, I'll make sure the silver one goes into this little product category as well. But otherwise you can get all five colors just here and essentially you get one of them for free. So it works out really, really good value. This is what I'm gonna be doing on Friday. Each kit makes three of these puffy hearts. So not just one. If you get this kit, you'll make three of these. If you get this kit, you'll make three of this. Or if you get this one here, you'll make 15 little hearts. So again, like um, 
can't remember who it was who said that they've got the wedding coming. Uh, that would make a nice little table decoration type thing as well, because you don't have to put the little hanger bit. So anyway, that's on Friday. But let me show you today's product bundle, which is a little bit different to how we usually do things. It's brand new as of today. The simplest way is if you want to get everything, you just click add to basket. But you can customize your bundle to make it match exactly the way you want. So the easiest way, you can click on the photo, else you can click on, uh, see this little bit of text just here that highlights, you can click on that, or you can even click on the text that highlights down here. See at the bottom there? Any one of those three will take you to the page where you can customize your bundle. So first step, you can, uh, if you wanna get the four mil glass pearl bundle, which has eight assorted strands, if you want it, Add an extra one if you want to. You're more than welcome to do it. Do you want three of them? They're only £4.56 and you get eight strands. So it's 40% off. It's a really, really good way to stock up on those. We give you an assortment of eight colours. They do vary. Um, we also have the 6 mil glass pearl collection as well, which has six. It's only £3.60. So again, very, very inexpensive. If you want to get more of them, you want 12 strands, make it two. You want 18 strands, make it three. Four, you can do whatever you want. Customize your bundle exactly as you want. If you don't want any of them, you can even say, put it to zero. If you want to get, if you go, actually, I don't think I'll have the red ones. I've got those already. Put that to zero. And everything will be tallied up exactly for the amount that you want. So... You can see there at the bottom, add it to basket with your customization. So however you want it to be, you can get that. But also you do get our pendant pattern for free. So you've got the, the mini heart and the big heart. The big heart, it shows you in three and four and six mil. And then you've also got that mini heart instruction, which you can do in four mil or whatever it is that you want. But everything is added up instantly. So you go, do you know what? I'll have an extra silver, but I won't have a gold. Do it, easy. You just say I'll have two of them and none of them. The price reflects that exactly. So you can see at the bottom, 24 if you're gonna have them all. But otherwise, if you don't wanna customize it, you just want one of everything, you just click from that page, add to basket whenever you're ready, or on the page for today's tutorial where you can see lots of our satin pearls as well. We've got lots of individual colors if you wanna choose them, plus some really nice seed beads as well, some other seed beads, different ones. Uh, like our white mix, um, you can just choose them or get the whole bundle, the, the sort of the default where you get one of everything, click add to basket and it's in your basket. Done, dusted, and everything is there ready for you. So now let's just pop back. As I said to you, everyone, I do have my tutorial again on Friday. I'm going to be doing two tutorials next week as well. We're going to sort of stick with the, the love theme, but we're going to go more macrame style, I think. We might do some crown knots. I don't know. We'll see. I'm, uh, we'll see what comes on each day. But anyway, lots and lots of possibilities with that little bundle. Go on and get it. Get your free pattern. Otherwise, you can pay for the pattern. It's only £3, and it will cover the big heart and the small heart. They vary a little bit in 3 mil, 4 mil, and 6. Do whatever you want. Um, but yeah, uh... Yes, you just have to... Oh, yeah. Antida says, I've got 10, 10 pens to make. Well, you might have even more pens to make soon, Antida. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Just, you know, little a little heads up there. You might have more pens to make soon. Uh, but, yeah. If you fancy, I'll see you guys on Friday. I've had lots of fun making that little design. I hope you have as well. Make sure if you haven't seen us before, you subscribe to our newsletter. That's the best way to know when my tutorials are coming. Again, there's a link there in the description. So if you're on Facebook, the link's down below. If you're on YouTube, uh, no, the other way around. Facebook, the, the link is above. YouTube, the link's down below. Click on the one that says, you know, get more, uh, see more tutorials like this and free patterns and things like that. We send out emails whenever we're going to go live. So that's how most people know. If you're one of the regulars, like um, the Doris who's here, Doris is still here. Jan is often here over on YouTube. Wayne Wiley, who is regularly here as well. Um which I've just seen there's a question from Debbie, what size wire? It's 0.4 millimeter uh, there for you, Debbie. Uh, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, but yeah, there's lots and lots going on, but 
the email list, the newsletter is easily the best way to know what is coming up and when. But also when you sign up to our newsletter, there is a bonus when you're brand new, we give you a five pound voucher to say thanks for joining up for purchasing any of our patterns. You need to have at least five pounds worth of patterns in your basket, but hey, try out some of our patterns. Get a, a three pound pattern and a two pound pattern. Get a five pound pattern. If you wanna get a seven pound pattern, the five pounds will come off and you'll only pay two. So it's up to you how you use it, but it is for any of our beading patterns, however you like to use them. Um, but yeah, so um, we have lots and lots of things coming up. I will see you on Friday for that crystal puffy heart. I wish I had one here to show you, um, but I don't. Um, but yeah, lots and lots of goodies inside the bundle. So go and get it. Um, check that out from your basket. Customize it exactly the way you want it. And um, yeah, I guess I will see you on Friday. So if you want to be involved and make along with me for that one, you will need some four mil bicones and some seed beads. Otherwise, get our little kit. It does come with full instructions. All of our kits usually come with full instructions. Um, so yeah, if you if you will, I'll see you all on Friday. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial as much as I have. Um, don't forget this little fella just here. This is what I made in case you missed it, uh, which this was a great idea, putting one within the other. Fantastic idea there. Love that, which is with the four mil and the six mil. Uh, but yeah, thanks very much, guys, for joining me. I hope you've had a lovely day, and I'll see you all on Friday. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, so have a lovely day, uh, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.